I will show you how you can create uh, an ontology using uh, Protégé. This is uh, the ontology that I want to create. The classes are place, city, state and country and the properties are population, is located in, is capital of, is part of and borders. I open Protégé. I click here to create a new OWL ontology. This is the URI of my ontology. I just click continue then continue again and then here from this list I select turtle as the syntax for my ontology and I, then I click finish. Now the first thing is to create the class of my ontology so I have to select the classes tab. Every new class that I want to create must be a subclass of the most general class in OWL which is OWL Think. So to create a new class, I click Think and I add a subclass like this and I type the name of the class that I want to create which must always start with a capital letter. Now I will create city, country and state as subclasses of place. I just click on place and then I add subclass I type the name of the class and then I click OK. And then for city, I click on place again, add subclass, and I type the name of the class. And for state, I do the same thing. If I want to add a comment for uh, any of these classes, I just click on the class and then I click on annotations I select comment from this list and I just write my comment now the next step is to create the properties I have two types of properties population is a data type property while all the other properties are object properties the domain of population is place and the range is integer. So going back to Protege, to create data type properties, I have to select this tab, which is called data properties. You can see here that there is one property called top data property, and every new, pro new data property that I create will be a sub property of this top data property. So I just click on this property, I add sub property, and I type the name of the new property. Then for every property I have to define the domain and the range of the property. To define the domain I click here, add domain and I will select a class for my hierarchy. In this case place is the domain of population. I select place and I click OK. The range for this property is integer. So for the range, I have to select from the built-in data types an appropriate one, which is integer. And I click OK. Now I will create the object properties. It's part of, it's an object property. The domain of this property is state and the range is country. Going back to Protege again. To create object properties, I have to select the object properties tab. You can see here that there is a top object property, and every new object property that I create is a sub property of this top object property. So I have to select top object property, click here to add sub property, and I type the name of the new property. And then for every property, I have to define the domain and the range. The domain of this property is state, so I have to find state from my list, classes, and the range is country, so I have to find again country from the hierarchy of classes. The next property that I will create is borders, the domain and range of this property is country. So again I select top object property add sub property and I type 
the domain the new property the domain is country and the range is country again. This located in is an object property, its domain is city and its range is country. So again, I click on top object property, add sub property, and I type the name of the new property. And again, I define the domain of this property, which is city, and the range of the property, which is country. My last property is is capital all. This is a sub property of is located in. So, to create this property, I have to click on is located in, and then add sub property, and type the name of the new property. For this property, I do not have to define the domain and the range. It is a sub-property of is located in, which means that it inherits the domain and range of is located in. So its domain is simply and its range is country. And again, for any of these properties, I can add a comment by clicking annotations and by writing, by selecting comment here from the list and by adding my comment here.